and he's I think oh. gonna head towards that, but well, actually, there's gonna be the open wounds on to General, and that is gonna be first blood. You're absolutely right, Lumi, as uh, down goes General, looking to get an early bit of ward up, but the pressure comes straight out from F5. They're having none of the trouble over here on his Elder Titan. It looks like the open wounds has already been expended, but Yol is here, the backstab damage is there. He's actually <laughs> gonna get blocked out by RMN, and that support Morphling is gonna help find the first kill down here on this bottom lane. It's not the most uh, traditional tri lane, but he thinks, think it's not, really, he thinks it's not worth he it. He thinks it's not worth it. Well, I'll tell you what is gonna be worth it. It's gonna be a kill onto General, and they're gonna commit four heroes of it, F5, and they are gonna be able to secure themselves a kill. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, four heroes committed for that one, it's it's a lot, you know. I, well, I they ganked his stack too, that's big. Yeah. Because that was uh, the backup plan for the, the Batrider to kind of catch back up. And now that's gone too, so. So F5 doing a nice job of just putting a bit of early aggression on 3-0 yeah. on the map now. Ooh, and uh, we have four, seen I the think. early aggression. Well, it could be four indeed. There's always one of flies in a lot of trouble. The Iron Shell damage is uh, way too much. And uh, Yol is going to be able to jump in and find himself the last hit on that one. Uh, he's now on a killing spree, by the way. And well, in the mid lane, it looks like for that Ricky. And well, RMN, he's... Uh, He's got a waveform, so he should he be fine. He should be okay. There's four stacks on him now. Now he's going to save it for the waveform and head towards the mid-tier tower. And meanwhile, there's going to be a little bit of action just above the river. Darkseer finds the kill over onto the Elder Titan with the help of uh, BZZ and the old shell on him. And uh, he's chasing down what always want to fly. He's actually nice. going to use Tricks of the Trade to be able to dodge out the stomp. And this is probably going to be always want to fly's death. There's going to be the Earth Splitter coming through. There's a Mana Ford as well, but it does very little damage. And now the return comes in with the vacuum. There isn't a wall at the moment, but RNN is going to jump himself in. There's going to be another stomp coming out. Still no one dead. Now General's here, though. He has the Firefly. He has the Lasso. He's going to be able to bring BZZ up to the high ground. Instant Burst Strike back down to the low ground. At the moment, it is still always want to fly. The only one to lose his life in this fight, but it looks like BZZ is going to join him. And it is a one for one trade. Dendi rotates around in the river and they managed to even things up six to one now let's see who the target is looks like uh, they're gonna grab yeah, themselves like a always want to fly and yeah like you say this could indeed be a free kill they're gonna jump in there's gonna be the smoke screen there's gonna be illidan eating down onto the shadow demons backside and that is gonna be a free kill for I this sentry ward so they do know that he's here they're gonna actually oh, throw the dust smoke. but i think he dodged it yeah did he dodge it well it's not gonna matter anyway he got down he goes elder titan actually gets the kill with the stomp and uh, they are going to be able to punish Yol, but they did rotate all five heroes, actually. And here comes another in the first bomb by the looks of things, but it's actually going to get scouted out by Dendi. They maybe just think, though, it's a BZZ here. There's going to be the jump out from Illidan and instantly the lasso. They already managed to kill over BZZ on his sanking, and now they're looking to try and get the kill onto Illidan as well. But the vacuum wall is there. It's a hell of a lot of damage. Den and this time, Yol is actually going to chase down Dendi. The silence is going to be there, but the four staff forward. It might be our star that pays instead, but no, Dendi with the stun. And they're keeping everybody alive at the moment. Tricks of the trade. General looks like he's in trouble. The open wounds are there. He's going to be able to bring them down. And in the, in the res back, Resolution jumps forward, looking for Yol with the mana void. But it isn't quite enough damage to be able to finish him. Uh, Resolution is trying to bring down this tier one tower. And it looks like he is going to be able to take it. Uh, there is going to be a stun coming in. The Burrow Strike is there. There is going to be a defensive disruption used. The Earth Splitter comes in. It's a hell of a lot of damage coming out from Ukraine. The Mana Void is there as well. They've already brought down the Darkseer and BZZ on his Sanking as well. And now they've got Lassoud Illidan. He's already used the Rage, so there's nothing for him to get out of this one. And he's going to fall as well. Four heroes actually go down and in all together on the side of F5 as they lose Ricky. And, well, RMN is getting chased down. Is this going to be a full five-man wipe? Is Resolution going to go balls done. deep? The stun is such a long duration, it doesn't look like they want to chase this any further. RMN just standing on the low ground. A little bit of trouble, there's going to be another stomp coming through. This time the Mana Void doesn't really do too much. Illidan's fighting against four, he's going to have to back himself up. Do they want to fight into the wall? This time the epicenter is going to come through from BZZ, straight onto R Star. They're going to be able to find that kill. RMN now, now the carrier for Illidan. And he's going to be able to jump himself up to the high ground and resolution. And this large camp, there is a smoke up. They're actually going to find Art Style in the mid lane, and this is going to be a fairly easy kill. He's going to be able to bring down the stomp. No, he's not. He's not going to be able to get that one out. And Ricky finds the kill. Uh, Yol is going to be able to pick that one up. But yeah, they find it. I mean, you're up against the uh, very annoying Orchid plus Adaptive oh. Trike. Yeah, here we go. It's going to be the initiation. It is the vacuum. It is the wall onto General. They're going to be able to bring down that kill and it doesn't look like Ukraine are going to try and reinitiate off the back of this there just going to get them standing here for a little while resolution maybe just waiting to see if general can find himself a pickoff and he is going to be able to find it is on to bbz but there's going to be the vacuum back general he didn't realize Illidan was inside the sand king and he's going to get brought down so that's how this fight is going to start the yules as well he's going to avoid the damage coming out from the they're not playing that hero as a core 
And then, oh, oh, well, talking of the morphing, he is going to get caught out this time. There isn't anything there to stop Gemrul's pull back, and, well, the strength morph is going to be there, but it isn't going to be enough. The natural order this time is going to be there, and this time BZZ might find himself in a little bit of trouble. He's actually going to stun forward. The wall is going to be there as well, and the vacuum, but they're not going to be able to bring anyone down on the side of Ukraine yet. Big mana void coming out from Resolution, bringing down the Darks here, now fighting up against BZZ as well. The Mantis style is there. There is going to be the epicenter coming in from BZZ. It was, of course, actually Illidan on his life stealer that's get brought, get, gets brought down. And now the bash over onto Yol. They actually completely team wipe F5, ultra kill for Resolution. And well, that, that just did not go well at all for F5, Lumi. So Darkseer was able to get off a four man vacuum wall. And he's going to jump straight onto Dendi. The cloud is going to be there, but again, the four staff saves coming out. And this time, Illidan's in a little bit of a tricky spot. There is going to be the vacuum, but there's no wall for the time being. But meanwhile, Resolution's on the back line. He's already blown up the darks here. As we mentioned, when that combo comes out, he's low on mana. BZZ, he's trying to go for the epicenter, but he's not really landing it on anyone. He finally does land the burrow strike, and he manages to bring down Always Want to Fly. Uh -oh. They've lost Dendi in this fight as well. Yol and Darkseer are the only ones to fall on the side of F5. And Resolution, he's going to look to, self, to jump himself forward. And we're actually looking at BZZ trying to get himself away here. He does manage to find his blink over to the side. And it doesn't look like they're going to actually be able to chase this one down. In fact, F5 looking to maybe re-engage into this one. Illidan blinks himself forward, looking for the kill over onto the art, onto art style. The Replicate doing a lot of damage, draining all of his mana. The stun comes in as well from BZZ. They're going to be able to bring him down. It looked like Resolution might, might have wanted to uh, try and fight into that one. But Blink himself forward. There is going to be a disruption over onto General, so that's going to keep him alive for the time being. He actually just tries to teep away Illidan, and he gets caught by the lasso. He's going to go down. The Mana Void comes through. They've brought down BZZ as well, and they've brought down the Darks here. Anti Mage with a triple kill resolution. He's uh, jumped himself out of the pit, and he's found himself a pot of gold. And now it's RMN. He's trying to get himself away. He does have the replicate, so he's going to be able to get himself out of there. But it is three heroes down on the side of F5. Um, unless they want to commit the buybacks here, Lumi. Oh, RMN, he's in, not in a place where he wants yeah. to be. He's looking like he's in trouble. He's trying to morph the strength, bless him, but it's just not enough. And in the end, it is actually going to be the damage ticking him over from the Yule Scepter. And this means it's going to be Roshank going into the hands well, Illidan's playing very, very aggressively. He jumps himself forward. There's going to be the Burrow Strike over onto General. He's going to be eaten down the Yule Scepter into the air, but I think he will eventually fall. He actually gets the Lasso over onto BZZ, and BZZ's going to be the one to fall. No, another Yule's into the air. No one's dying in this fight. Finally, BZZ goes down. He buys back into the game instantly. Illidan has to get himself out of there. He is very, very low, fighting up against... Fest as well. Uh oh uh, actually does get stomped and well general's gonna jump himself in he manages to find RMM but instantly the Yule Scepter is there and now Illidan's looking to try and get himself into the fight the Earth Splitter comes through there's gonna be a nice vacuum onto two heroes and the Burrow Strike coming through as well they're looking to see if they can bring any of these heroes down but they just Jeez. can't and it's resolution he's just too big he's too strong they're pressing themselves forward general's gonna Yule himself into the air the tricks of the trade is keeping Yole alive but it's not gonna be enough for RMN he's actually gonna fall as well buy back from the Darks here they've lost four heroes in this engagement Yol was the only one to get out of there alive resolution just doing so much damage in these engagements and now he's doing damage to buildings he's working on the racks oh is there anything they can really do here there's no buyback on Illidan there's no buyback on the Morphling and there's no buyback on the BZZ the okay. wall is there the vacuum is there it's doing quite a bit of damage but no it's not enough Darks is going to go down Yol's going to go down they're going to lose everybody <laughs> double it could gem. be GG double, double gem, gem as well buyback this time from Yol on the Ricky resolution the crowd behind me uh uh, they're smashing their bangers together and uh, making a hell of a racket. They sense that this game is coming to a conclusion and, well, Yol's going to fall again. He doesn't have buyback. It's only the Morphling alive. BZZ is going to be back in five seconds. Illidan is back right now, but it's going to be mega creased by the looks of things. Illidan jumps himself in. He's looking to try and go into Always Want to Fly, but he actually gets bashed. Resolution now getting bashed himself as well. Are they going to be able to bring down the anti mage? It doesn't look like he blinks himself out. And at the moment, it's still Illidan alive. BZZ falling low. He's going to go down, but not before he gets off. One more burrow strike. RMN's fallen as well. Illidan's on his own. His rest of his team's been brought down. He dies as well. GG. It's all over. The Ukrainian.